what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you all the different basically types of hand pieces versus high speed, slow speed, um, hygiene hand piece, um, and also how to attach them, assemble them, and disassemble them. So we'll kind of jump right into it. So depending what the procedure that's going on, obviously doctors have different preferences, whether it's a high speed or a contra angle, um, and also obviously the different burrs. We're not gonna go into detail too much of all the different types of burrs. I'm just gonna show you guys some of the basics of the hand pieces, okay? So first we have um, our lock and key, high speed. So what we're gonna do is whenever you're attaching the burr, it flips over to one side and then you attach it using this basically turning mechanism and same thing when you're taking it off. Our traditional hand piece that you'll see in most offices is our push button. So basically you push the button to insert it and then also you're gonna push the button to take the burr out. I'll show you guys that in a second. We also have our hygiene hand piece. This is typically used whenever you're doing a profi. Um, hygienists typically um, tend to, see to use this. You also have your profi cup here and that attaches to the end. And I'll show you guys that in a second as well. We have our slow speed motor. And this is what um, attaches to our contra angle. Like so. Basically snaps right on this is what's going to attach to your hose where you have your air and your water so I'm going to take that one off and show you guys the other we also have our straight pretty self-explanatory it's straight we're going to go with our traditional push button high speed first So here we have the circles. There's different sizes. As you notice, you have a bigger one and then a little bit of a smaller one, and then two smaller ones. It lines up with the attachment on the hose here. So as you guys can see the little holes here, and then we're gonna attach it like so. It basically slides right in. And then once it's in there, you have the threads and you're gonna basically slide this piece up, screw it on completely, make sure it's all the way till you feel a stopping point. You have to make sure it's all the way on and then that way you know that it won't leak any air or water out of it. Um, whenever you're attaching burrs on this particular hand piece, this is a push button like I said earlier. So there's a little button there. You're gonna push it, slide your burr right in, let go of the button while the burr's in there and then just double check and make sure it's in because if it's not, that will happen in the patient's mouth. So you have to push it all the way in. You have to put a little bit of force, slide the burr in there and make sure it's in. To take it out, same thing. You're gonna push the button all the way in, take the burr out, and now it's successfully out. One thing you guys always wanna do whenever you're attaching the high speed hand piece, you wanna double check and make sure the water flow is running cor correctly through it. Um, if you notice, there's two little dots on there and that's where the air air and the water is going to come out of. So I'm going to show you guys um, our real stat here. So if you guys notice, there's a dot on there. If the dot is, if the switch is facing away from the dot, that means that it's just going to be air. You always want to make sure when you're using the high speed, you're going to flip the switch over and then make sure that water's coming out. So now I'm going to show you guys water coming out you usually have to let it run for about 30 seconds to a minute and now we have water airflow through it okay now take it off same thing you're just going to unscrew the threads there and then i'm going to show you guys the other one so we have our slow speed motor i'm going to disassemble this so you guys see the difference same type of deal you have holes here that are going to attach here you're going to slide this up screw it on Now you're gonna attach your contra angle there. And now you have your slow speed. So this is our slow speed motor. You have different attachments and different hand pieces for it. So whether it's our straight hand piece or our contra angle. One other attachment, very commonly used in most offices, all offices if they have a hygienist. Um, 
Sometimes assistants use this as well. Whenever you're polishing teeth, you are gonna line up the holes. The difference here is it has the access holes there, but there's nothing sticking out. So you're just gonna match the two big holes up there. We're gonna slide that in, same type of deal. Make sure it's all the way on. Now, one thing you guys have to make sure is whenever this is all the way on, you have to make sure you turn the water off. Um, the water on the rheostat, remember it's just a little dot, so you're gonna go ahead and just flick it off. And then also one thing you guys have noticed that this swivels around. So if you notice the little dot here, that's how you're gonna attach your Profi cup. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this Profi cup, show you guys how to put this on. There's a little notch, it looks like a U-shaped groove. That's what that little circle is gonna slide into. So you gotta make sure it goes all the way on and push firmly all the way down. Now it's locked in and it won't move. You cannot attach it like so because now it's flimsy and this will come right off. You have to make sure they're lined all the way up, slide all the way down, and then you're ready to go. We're gonna take this off. After taking these off and on, you're gonna make sure that you put them on and back on the correct holder. So you guys notice this is what releases and turns the mechanism on and off, so that the hand pieces. So if you hear the compressor go off and on there, we're gonna put it on there. Alright guys, make sure you go follow our YouTube channel, like and subscribe our video.